Hola friends, uh, today I play around with one of the best AI autonomous agents I've come across, Hyperite. So what is Hyperite? Hyperite provides a variety of AI generative tools to be used in the browser, but the specific tool that I will be focusing on today is the AI personal assistant, aka autonomous browser agent. Um, out of all the browser agents I've messed with, this one is by far in a league of its own and I'm not being paid to say that. Uh, so in this video, I'll be providing a variety of tasks and I'll just see how well it performs. Um, if you have any tasks that you want me to try, let me know or leave in the comments. I'll try it next time. If there's enough interest, I might do a live stream and take live requests. Also, shout out to Jason and Matt. Uh, they've been really helpful on the Discord channel and have even uh, given me some extra credits to play around with this more. And they've been super uh, responsive to feedback. So, yeah, just wanted to wanted to say thanks for that. All right, let's jump into. It. Okay, so let's try this. Now we're gonna purchase the foundation book from Amazon. Just the first one in the series. Assume I am logged in already. Okay. Uh, let's, let's do the thing. I feel like I should be able to do this. All right, all right. Very cool, very cool. So I like, I like that it, it's figuring out, okay, a successful task completion would involve having the book in the Amazon cart and ready for checkout. Oh wait, no, I wanna actually purchase it. Let's see if it actually purchases it. Cool. Off to a good start. All right, searched. It's interesting that it needs to do like an extra step after searching because it seems like almost always you're going to want to search and then hit enter. But I guess, okay, I guess it is possible that you hit search and, and multiple results come back and you don't always click the first one. Wow, so it's going for, it's going for the, okay. Add it to cart, I like it. Also a great show by the way, I just finished season one of Foundation, crazy, crazy good. I always respect a good sci-fi story where it's just way out there, you know, some crazy distant future, thousands and thousands of uh, years ahead, and then they make interesting uh, scenarios. All right, so here we go. Uh, I'm gonna have to block out my address whenever I edit this, but... Action required. Oh, okay, so this is fair. It, it, it's like, okay, you're about to purchase, I, on the bottom right, it's saying like, hey, you're about to purchase some money here. Or sorry, you're about to use, you're about to use some money here. Uh, are you sure you want to do this? Though this, it is kind of funny that, uh, maybe this would just be like a yes or no button, you know, like I have to type yes. Uh, I don't know. You're making me second guess myself now. Just kidding. Uh, I'll say yes. Cool, so now it should go and purchase. Come on, come on, you can do it, you can do it. Come on, you're at the finish line. Yeah! Very good, A plus. I even liked how it was like, hey, are you sure, are you sure you want to spend, you're going to spend some real money on this, A plus, that was great. Uh, oh, I'm going to let it make sure that it knows it's, it's task is complete. Uh, task went perfectly, amazing. Alright, so this next one is going to do AI Dungeon, and we're going to have it start a game, create a fantasy world, and just follow all the... AI generated instructions and its task is complete whenever it's finished whatever quest it gets sent on. I don't know. So let let, let let's see how this goes. Per page. 
the quick start button is visible. I'm gonna click it. Yes, it found the quick start button, even though it moved. Okay. So now we're. The game is currently loading. There are several buttons available, but none of them seem to be related to the game's progress. So go back. Oh no, no, no. Hopefully, they didn't wait for it to load. Oh! Oh wait! It picked fantasy. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. It is going further than I thought it would. Here, let me zoom in a bit. Enter your character's name. Oh my gosh, it's selecting Noble. We're letting it get creative here. We're letting AI interact with AI. The game is asking for a character name. We're gonna, okay, we're calling him John. Dude, this is, this is amazing. John has been entered. There's no submit button, so am I auto submit on loss? Oh, why am I back to this page? Oh man, I'm honestly surprised I got this far. Okay, yes, now it's working. It did the thing, now it's generating. Oh, wow, okay. Amazing. You're John, a noble living in the king of, kingdom of Larion. You have a pouch of gold and a small dagger. You're awakened by one of your servants who tells you that your keep is under attack. You look out the window, see a group of bandits scaling the walls, and your own guards are nowhere to be seen. As soon as you quickly grab your pouch and dagger, you hear the sound of battle raging outside. Dude, defend the keep in- what?! Oh my god! The, ga the game has generated a story scenario for character John. There's a textbook. Oh my gosh, it's saying you defend the keep. You quickly grab your dagger and pouch it and rush to defend your keep from the bandits. Holy lord. It knows what to do. It's saying, okay, gather the servants, okay. So, okay, interesting. It wants to save the servants. It, it has a it has a good it has a good heart. You call for your servants to gather in the courtyard and prepare for battle. Oh snap, so So you get all the servants, and now we're going to prepare for battle. Oh my gosh. Dude. This is probably my favorite task so far. You take a deep breath and prepare for battle, assessing the situation and strategizing your next move. Your mind races as you consider how to repel the attackers and protect your keep. The AI decides to charge the bandits. Oh my gosh. You charge towards the band. You charge towards the bandits. Your dagger drawn and your eyes fixed on your positions. Your servants follow close behind. Your weapons at the ready. All right, what do we do? John the Noble. I feel like I've heard the story. Fight with all my might. All right, the AI has decided. Hyper right has decided. My personal assistant. Thank you, person. My personal assistant has decided to fight with all of its might. You fight with all your might, dodging blows, striking back with precision and skill. The bandits, emboldened by their numbers, charge towards you, but you're able to hold your ground and repel them with ease. Your vi victory is ours. Oh my gosh. It successfully com at the last of the bandits. As the last of the bandits falls towards the ground defeated, you and your servants celebrate the victory of your stronghold. The air is filled with the sound of clashing swords and shouts of triumph. We <laughs> yeah, the AI decides to celebrate with the servants. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, I wonder when it's going to realize that it's, it's completed its task. You turn your servants and celebrate with them, relishing in the adrenaline and excitement of the battle. They cheer and congratulate you on your recovery, and you smile warmly at them. You rest and recover. After a short while, you and your servants retire to your chambers to rest and recover from the exhaustion of the battle. You take a moment to reflect on the events that have transpired and prepare for future battle. You wake up refreshed. You wake up feeling rejuvenated, ready for the day, your mind is clear. Okay. Start a new day. Please log in or continue playing. Okay, to me, I feel like it's completed its task. It at this point this has now become a never-ending game this to me is amazing let, let's see let's see what it tries to do here uh, out of curiosity I'm gonna let it go one more step but to me this is like 
A plus. Look, he wanted to explore the kingdom. Okay, amazing. Okay, I'm I'm gonna stop it. This this was this was amazing. Uh, it interacted with everything perfectly. Uh, and I gave it little instruction. That was amazing. That was amazing. Uh, so we're gonna make a Reddit post. Assume we're already logged in. Um, say it's all. Okay. So it went to create a post. I told it the subreddit. It might not have context on what a subreddit is. Um, so it might not know how to choose a community. Oh! Boom! Let's go! Alright. So far I give this. I give this a, an A. If it can actually post. I love that, man, this thing, this thing is amazing. Like I said, from someone who's worked in automation, this is like one of the coolest things I've seen in a long time. This post was generated in response to the following prompt. Make a Reddit post, make sure to say da da da, and include, here's the link of the video demo. Oh, it even changed my prompt. I didn't actually say what the link was. They just figured it out. Hopefully that's a real, oh my gosh, and it posted it. That's, that's amazing. Created a Reddit post. Boom. I'd say this went perfect. Alright, this one, this one, build a custom PC on Newegg. Make sure you get all the parts for a functional PC. I was gonna, I was gonna do something like, give it a budget, potentially. Um, but I, I feel like that's just complicated enough. I just want to see if it could do this. Let, let's just let's 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 do the thing. All right, so it looks like we are at Newegg. There is a PC builder. Maybe I should have told it to use a PC builder. I see I see a PC builder button, but maybe it's smart enough to know. It's smart enough to hit. A, oh, it went to the PC builder. I'm on the New Egg homepage, there are various links. Okay, I went for the PC Builder link. Amazing. Uh, I've honestly haven't built a PC for like 10 years. Oh, oh my gosh. Here we go. Is this thing about to build a PC? Okay, so first it looks like it's, it's picking up a, a CPU. I'm on the CPU selection page, there are various ones. There's also a list of CPUs with their details and prices. Okay, it picked the CPU. Oh my lordy, all right. What is next? Okay, it's been added. It, I love how it knows it's been added successfully. Uh, oh, what happened here? The next step is usually selecting a compatible motherboard. Oh my gosh, it knows how to build a PC. So it looks like it's it's picking a motherboard. Wow. It's added a motherboard. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. Like This is by far the most practical use case I've seen for autonomous agents. Like completing actual real tasks I'm blown away it's gonna do this it's gonna it's gonna do all of this it's already it's already an A right now it's the hardest part is gonna be submitting maybe uh, it got some memory yeah I got the 32 gigs this is this is a, I don't know this is a good PC so far all right what's next Okay, graphics card, 3070. Okay. Okay, I guess that's a decent budget. Didn't didn't opt for the, the 3090. That's okay. We'll take we will we'll take it. 80, uh 3070 will still still do the thing. I cannot believe it's it's gonna do this. 
blown away so many expectations. I, I honestly now have to come up with harder things. I, I didn't think it would be able to do things like this. And so... Oh wow, they have a build with AI button. I just saw that over here. <laughs> That's funny. Technically, I am building with AI. New egg, you're behind the times. Okay, so it's chugging along. It is chugging along. Uh, it's added the case successfully to the custom PC. The next step is in building a custom PC is usually selecting a power supply. There's no visible power supply link. Oh, interesting. I wonder... Okay. I wonder what it's going to do here. There's a power supply link here. And a case. So... Maybe it needs to... I'm not sure why it doesn't see it. Oh man, come on, it can do this. Like, it did all the other stuff. It should... I'll, I'll give it, I'll give it time to, I'll give it time to see if it can, see if it can fix itself. Still, again, very impressed. I think, uh, yeah, I think it just gets caught on simple, like, interacting... Oh, added, it did add the power supply. So I'm not sure why it gets stuck sometimes, but what's cool is it, uh, like if I'm reading here, it knows, it knows when it messes up. So the previous action resulted in an error. It, so it knows that. Oh my gosh. And now it's selecting the storage. Okay. It, it's, every time I think that it's going to go south, it, it, it comes back. Come on. You could pick the, you could pick it. You could do this. This is a slightly different storage. The next step is building is usually adding a cooler. Oh, wait. Maybe it thinks it added the storage? Oh, see? I, I love how it still knows. It's like, I'm still in the storage selection link. The CPU cooler link is not visible. However, I see a PC builder dialog box, so including CPU cooler. So then it switches, but... It didn't actually, if you notice, it didn't actually add the storage and didn't actually add the case. So it's, it's like kind of there. I don't, I'm not sure what it got tripped up on because it was doing so well in the beginning. Um, but I'm going to, I'm going to let it keep going for a second and see if it will fix itself. I mean, it's picking the OS, like, it's going through the steps, and, and it, it thinks that it's adding these coolers, but it really isn't. Um, wait, is it, oh wait, is it actually adding it? It's just not showing up in the UI? Okay, I'm just gonna let it keep going. I won't make assumptions anymore. 1300 so far I think it I th yeah it added it added everything wait let's see oh frequently bought together okay let me let me just do add seven items to build let's see if it actually let's see if it actually completed oh you can pop this out oh my gosh ah oh, I wish I knew that I would have moved it out of the way a long time ago Wow, okay, anyways, so it almost got there, it didn't add the case, it didn't add the power supply, it did add the, st it, it added everything but the case and power supply. That's pretty damn good, holy cow. So the tasks you saw are just uh, 4 out of the 25 or so that I played with, so I'll be releasing uh, more videos with the remaining tasks over the next couple weeks. I just need time to edit them. If you enjoyed the content, please waterboard that like button. I also have a list of other AI related tools that I'll be playing around with in the near future, uh, both developer and consumer facing, so subscribe if that sounds interesting to you. Thank you for watching.